Hi there, welcome to Inside the Membership with Melody Moore, yours truly, where we unlock the possibilities and the tragedies of membership sites. Today we are going to be exploring Mike Michalowicz's Get Different Free Resource Membership site. I highly recommend his book, it's fantastic, and I myself wanted to download said free resources and got into his membership site. So we're gonna talk about what tech stack he is using and then potentially some possibilities for his membership site as well. If you want to, uh, one, buy the book, two, once you do buy the book, go to gogetdifferent.com and then you can you can also get into his membership site. Uh, so his opt-in here is simple. It does lead to, after you opt-in, an upsell. I didn't take the upsell, so I don't know what happens with the upsell. It does look great, by the way. Um, it'll be interesting to see as we get into this membership site if he has more indications of the upsell because I didn't take it. Um, so the first email I get is this one right here, and this is a Kajabi email. So he's running on Kajabi right now, which gives him a lot less flexibility um, as far as the user experience of what you could do with something like Membarium. It also means that I couldn't set my password when I was first when I was first signing up, and also that he couldn't automatically maybe redirect me right into Kajabi. So that's the first email I got, um, and then about a minute later I got a second email you're officially in. Now, in my opinion, I would want this to be one email. What's the purpose of having two emails? Uh, maybe a little bit more stylized as well. Mike's got great graphics. He's very playful, very fun. I wonder if potentially he's limited by what he can do, given that this is a Kajabi email. And you can see here that this is sent out directly through Kajabi's email uh, service here. Uh, he's got some good stuff in here. And then there's one final email I got, which looks like it's being sent. And we can see this by his um, by his email marketing company, Infusionsoft, or Keep, um, over here. So you've got three emails all at once. In my opinion, I don't think that more emails is better. People get frustrated with one unless it's intentional. Oftentimes we'll send one out and then maybe if someone doesn't log in with a certain amount of time or something along those lines, then that could potentially be advantageous. So I have to go back to my first email and grab that password. I'm just gonna grab my password here. If you wanna log into my account, go for it. I'm probably gonna change the password after we get off this. Um, but I need to go in here, put in my password. I, I love an auto login. I, I just find it makes it a lot easier just to be able to click in a button and be able to go right to your content. Kajabi doesn't offer that functionality that you, you're gonna be able to do that. So, I, and even on this login page, again, like Mike's got great, great color, great personality. Like what happened to that personality on this, on this particular login page? What happened to that great experience that I see on this get different page where it's so colorful and so beautiful. And then it kind of lays a little bit flat here. Once I get into this login page, like, is this even the same company? Who knows? So I'm going to sign in on this one. Okay. So all right, I, I get in here, okay, I got my logo now, um, and then I just have a, my products get, get different kit, okay. So I'm not seeing an upsell here, because in an ideal world, I didn't take that $27 upsell that he sent to me after I filled out that initial form. Maybe I could, you could be offering that on this page as well to say, hey, there's still time, because there was a timer on that $27 offer, which said I had X amount of time to be able to claim this offer. So that timer could then carry over to the membership site and potentially have an expiry on here if I do go back and access these resources later. So I'm going to go view product. So this is interesting. It's it's kind of like they've made it into a course, but it really probably isn't terribly well suited to a course um, because and you can watch my other videos. I've got a couple, I've got a bunch of videos on the difference between when you would use a course, when you would use a dashboard, and when you would use a post type functionality. And this particular one seems it's like it's much more well suited to a dashboard. Now, the beauty of a dashboard is it allows me to see everything that I might want to access all in one spot. I'm gonna have to click around a bunch in order to see this. Now, 
I do love this whole start start here portion, but you can have a banner at the top which says start here, how to use this kit, how to work with us, watch Justin, and then once they've completed those three items, then all of the resources down below would unlock. Now, will you get some complainers that are like, oh, I don't wanna watch your videos? Probably, but people are also quite clever and can just skip through the videos if they so choose. Um, so we've got those videos and got some case studies in here and then really like all I really care about is the downloads from the book. Like all this stuff is great. In, in membership sites and web design, we're always about directing attention. Like I don't really want to watch the rest of that stuff. It's great that they have this how to use this kit. It'd probably be very beneficial if I actually watched that. However, I am in about chapter three or four right now and there's some specific downloads that I'd really like to get. So um, let's just go graphics from Get Different. So I think that these are then, and it's interesting that they're using Google Drive for this. Really, like if at all possible, it's much more secure and it's a better user experience if you could just have Amazon S3 and host them all on Amazon S3. It's very cheap to do that. And I probably wanna see all of the different downloads on this page with a description because like art09marketingprocess.jpg, do you know what that is? <laughs> Because I don't, I don't remember. Okay, I can click in and I can remember, I can kind of see, okay, what is this? So these aren't even the worksheets. These are just the images from the book, which are, are helpful, but it'd be great to be able to know that from this. And it's, it's hard to do within Google Drive here to put those explanations. So you're much better off of like having the explanations on here in order to, in order to guide my user experience. So that's the downloads. I don't actually know where where the worksheets are. <laughs> so there's a dad framework here. So this is a video I guess I could go through. Um, the toolkit for entrepreneurs maybe. Download Justin's toolkit. Okay, let's see what this is. It's a PDF. Because really what I'm looking for, and I just happen to have the book over here, is that he's got these great worksheets in the back of the book under the appendixes. Um, and I want to be able to download them and fill them out. Like, so this, this is what I'm looking for the find your different here. Um, cause I think it's a great worksheet. There's about, there's about four or five of them. I want to say there's a get different experiment sheet. And then there's another appendix here. Um, and I'm just like trying to find them. So this is, I guess, and, and the other thing that you'll notice is that my, the screen I was just on is now gone. So what they've done is they've made it so that this doesn't open up in a new window. And whenever you're taking someone off of your site, you want to make sure that you're opening up in a new window, not the same window. So this is the difference. This one's opening up. If I click on this, you'll see that my tab now changes to that. What you want it to have happen is kind of like if I right, if I left click on here and go open up in a new tab, that's what I would expect to see. It and opens up in a new tab and takes me over there versus taking over the same window. Um, I'm going to go, I'm going to try a couple more things and then probably give up and email them about where maybe they don't provide those resources potentially as well, or it's another Google drive link. And you know, to, to be fair, maybe this was just like a quick thing that they had to throw up. And I'm a big fan of, there's always an iterative approach of sometimes we just need to get something done and know it's not perfect but it works for right now. And sometimes it's like, hey, I really wanna invest in this and I really wanna make this really cool and a really amazing user experience and I have a path to cash with that as well because I also don't recommend investing heavily in something without understanding where your path to cash is from this as well. I would assume that Mike is probably one, selling that $27 upsell that I talked about and two, probably selling some version of coaching or implementation from this as well. And he could be doing a lot more to influence that from, from this page here. So right away, like, I mean, they call it a dashboard. It's not a dashboard. It's kind of a dashboard. So this is, this is their form of a dashboard right now, but I should be able to see like my resources and like get that $27 case study. Maybe now it's $60 because I didn't take that offer. And then two, find out about our coaching program here. But I can see none of that of like, what are my options to work with Mike? Because as I go through or, uh, or Justin, as I go through the get different book, like, you know, it's, it's hard if you're just reading a book on your own to kind of process those ideas. So like, what are my options in order to really understand and embody this content so that I can use it more in, in my own marketing and my own business. So, um, I'm probably gonna, 
I'm probably gonna see if maybe it's in the maybe it's in the how to use this kit. Oh, it's a video. Um, I'm probably gonna email them and see if I can find. Oh, downloads from the book. I just totally missed it. Okay, graph. Nope, still graphics. Nope. All right, maybe it's in one of these graphic books, and I just need to go through each one of them. Oh, I think this might be it. Did we find it? We're on an adventure together, finding things in membership sites. <laughs> I think this might be it. I, I'm, I'm hopeful here. Nope. <laughs> it does not look like it. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to shoot them an email and see if maybe I can get those, um, screenshot or get those PDFs. Maybe they just don't provide them. I don't know. Um, anyways, this has been Melody Moore with uh, the inside the membership going into membership sites of both ones that are high performing and low performing and everything in between to kind of see what are the possibilities and the pitfalls within the different technologies and tech stacks and the way people think about membership sites. If you do have any questions about this, you can comment on this video or email us at hello at businesstechninjas.com.